Hey guys, welcome to a really quick tutorial today and this is going to be a beginner tutorial on showing you the basics of Unity Hub. When you download most versions of Unity now, it will come bundled with Unity Hub and Unity Hub is a place where you can manage all the versions of Unity that you have, all the projects and all the different settings that go along with it. So once you open Unity Hub after installing it, you will get a screen that looks something like this. It may not, it may or may not actually have projects down here. But what I'm going to do is give you the basics of how to actually use it. So in the top right corner, you'll be able to log in to your account if you have a Unity account. If not, you could create one. You've got a little cog which is settings. You can choose the actual editor path. You can actually choose where you would like to install the Unity. You can just press those three dots and you can choose a folder destination of where you would want your installs to go. You can manage licenses and do advanced from there. You can change your language if that's important to you. I think the other big thing to mention is if you go on this left hand side, there'll be a projects, learn community and installs. On installs, you can choose different versions of Unity to install. You can locate one if you've previously installed it on your machine. If you want to get a new version or one that might be with long term support or otherwise, you can just click add and you can see which of their Unity versions you can look for the pre-release, the official release or recommended releases. And what I would recommend to anybody is always go with the long-term support options that Unity have to offer. So in these cases, it's 2018.4, 2019.4 and 2020.3.5 because these are the most stable builds that they have. But with their long-term support means they will continue to fix bugs throughout. Whereas if you go for one of the newest versions, it will not be fully stable or as stable as it can be. So I would avoid that unless you really want a feature which is in this particular version. The community tab allows you to get quick links to all their Unity blogs, forums and answers. You can go to Unity Learn if you're a beginner and you want to take a look at some of their actual mini games. And the main place that you're going to go to to begin with is the project tab. Whereas in this case, you can create, there's a tab called new. If you just want to create a new project, you can click on the drop down to choose a particular version that you might want to start a project in. So like I said, I might want to start it in one of the LTS versions, like say 2019.4, I can just click and you can see that I can then start a new project. I can give it a name and choose where I want to save this with the three dots. We can start with the basic templates. So we can choose to have a standard 2D, a standard 3D, 3D with extras, a high definition render pipeline template or a universal render pipeline template. And you can also download the other specific examples, but these are extras that would show you how to do very specific things. Whereas I would always recommend the standard render pipeline for the moment, even though this may get deprecated at some points, because if you're going to download assets from the store, they may not support the other render pipelines. And this one is quite good to get started. If you're going for a really high end console version and you're competent with using Unity, you can look at the HDRP, but there's not as much content out there for this version. The universal render pipeline is good for all mobile low end and things across there. There's more content out, but again, it's very much you've got to ask yourself where you're going to be using your content and what you're going to use and how competent you are of using some of the features. Because of course, like I say, you won't find as many tutorials, um, shaders and things that might not be supported in these versions. So then you can, once you've chosen what you want, you can press create and away you go. The only other thing that you can do is you can press add and find a Unity project that you might have already started, but it's not featured in this version. You can select that folder, bring it into Unity as normal. And then before you click on anything, you can choose which version you want to launch it in. In the bottom here, it will tell you the last version it was launched in. And then you can match the actual version with it or as close to as possible. You can choose a lesser version. It will have to downgrade the project. You might find issues and you could upgrade it too, but that's not recommended if you've got a project with a lot of features and things going on because it may break certain assets. So only upgrade if you really, really need to and stick to as close to the current version of what your project is possible.
I'd say that it's safer to upgrade than it is downgrade, but it's really depending on what you choose to do. So again, these are just the really simple things and the ways that you can use Unity Hub. Take a look at my great assets on the Unity Store. Come and join me on Discord and support me on Patreon if you like the channel because it would really, really help me out. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.